right, welcome back. What you are looking at here is circumscribed tetrahedral geometry, all right? And it's going to play out in a big way in understanding what I am trying to explain to you. But before we talk further on that, I would like to maybe mention some other things that is going to help you to understand what I'm about to present to you. All right, so we've been talking about these um, spirits, these terrestrial spirits that have been born on earth and that are going to be bound on earth. And we're talking about that binding being this geometry. All right, and this geometry is in direct relation to physical energy. And that's kind of what we're talking about here. So now you see that they are being kept here on earth until an appointed time. And that time is judgment, okay? And it's called the great day, or it's just simply known as judgment. Now, which is the time we're in right now, okay? So it says, at that time of judgment, they are to be let loose. Now, they are being let loose by free will, not necessarily by God's free will, but by man's free will. And we'll talk about that a little later, but just understand that, that free will is what has bound them using the physical laws, okay, in which geometry is going to map out those physical laws of energy for us. So they have been bound with geometry, and they are going to be loosed with geometry. Now, what is controlling the geometry is free will. All right, and you're going to understand this further later. All right, so they are terrestrial spirits. So like men, they are governed by the laws of the physical realm, meaning their spirits are still governed by the laws of this earthly realm. Okay? These same laws of physics is what is being used to contain them in these vessels. And it's what's going to be used to release them and has already released many of them from these vessels. All right. So, OK, now think about the occult symbols. All right. Now we're going to talk about two of them here, one of which you're looking at, which would be the Star of David or the Seal of Solomon. The other is going to be the pentagram, which you have all most of you are familiar with as that occultic satanic symbol. All right. These symbols, okay, these 2D pictures really are 3D dimensional phenomenon of energy manifestation. That is what most people are missing. What you are seeing is more than just a symbol. It is a symbol that outlines or maps unseen energy manifestation. So let me say to you right now that and I have a way to prove this to you. Just bear with me. Um, geometry, okay, and basically this is what geometry is right here. This symbol right here, this, this mathematical formula. All right, so geometry is the physical representation of unseen or hidden energy manifestation. Okay, so that is what geometry is really doing that has been kept from you. You're looking at it as a 2D form of math, but in reality, it is a 4D form of math, okay? And it is a formula at the same time, and that's where it's going to come up with witches and wizards and sorcerers that were using it as an incantation or more of a formula or a ritual, because ritual is formula. So geometry really is that 2D physical representation of unseen or hidden energy manifestation, okay? So it is really allowing you to see something that you would not naturally be able to see if it were for not this symbol. Now you might be able to get the telltale signs of the movement of energy in the physical world around, but you could not see the energy itself. Now I'm going to come back and explain a little further.